Okay, 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 folks. So this is the wire for the Carrier Bryant Payne air handling units with the dissipation board. Um, I didn't have to change the location on the sensor because it's upflow. That's what they come for. Um, nothing really changes, guys. And then the cool thing about it is this will tell you. I think other brands tell you as well. Really, you're just breaking the Y. So this is the Y to the outdoor unit which is this wire and this is the Y to the thermostat which is this is the th my thermostat wire coming from the thermostat other than that commas go together um the orange goes with the orange um you break your red with your float so it's very simple um I believe it's very simple that's how I've been doing it this is how it shows here too as well so let me see this is okay heat pump so orange to orange y out which is your dissipation board goes to the heat pump so y out it'll tell you here too see y to outdoor unit so y out heat pump and then that's it the, the rest is the same and you got yellow from the thermostat to end the dis dissipation board which is y end so y to the thermostat then you got let me see all your commons are together your thermostat common dissipation board fan coil common outdoor common basically your commons are together same thing with your white wire from your outdoor unit and your thermostat and your r so really all that changes is this the um they break in the the yellow to the outdoor unit i guess to shut the unit off if this board ever detects that there's a leak of refrigerant inside the coil which is kind of you know y'all know but all right let's go ahead and wire this in so this is my um all right this is my outdoor unit so wide to out see wider out it got the purple and the yellow let's go ahead and get this one out of the way and then we got this yellow from the thermostat y in to thermostat let's just go ahead and get these out the way All right, that's the most confusing thing about this wiring. It is extra wiring though. Well, not really, if you think about it, we always had to, you just gotta break the Y and the R like how we always did. So this is my um, reversing valve. Okay, so the green to the thermostat, which is always has always been like that because we never had the green going out to a heat pump. Make sure I get this on here good. Okay. And let's get all the whites together. Where's the white? To the thermostat. All the whites go together. I haven't done a um an air conditioner. I've only done these heat pumps, so I'm pretty sure the air conditioner um, might have a couple more steps because I think you're supposed to ensure that the outdoor common is the same as the indoor common. I think, I'm not sure, so don't take my word for that. All right, so we got the commons here. And yes, we use blue for common. We don't use brown. I'm just playing, guys. I just get confused when people use brown. I'm a little slow. All right, so we got our commons here. Now we're gonna break our red with this float switch. All right, guys, so we're gonna break this red. 
Got both of our um reds to one leg. Our heat pump red, our um our heat pump red and our thermostat red going to one leg of the uh, float switch. And then we're gonna get the the air handler red, put it on the other leg, and that's it folks. That's it. So I'm almost done with this install. I just wanted to make this video for um wiring carrier the carrier Bryant and Payne air handlers single stage heat pumps with the new dissipation board sensor 